Hi, my name is Isaac and welcome to this demonstration today. I'm going to talk about entering field data into the GIS environment. I have data here in an Excel spreadsheet straight from the field and it contains latitude and longitude coordinates recorded in decimal degrees. Now I want to enter this data into the GIS environment and uh, ArcMap to be specific. The key concepts in this demonstration are going to be ArcMap, data, the geodatabase, coordinates, and projection on the fly. You'll be hearing these terms as I go along. So the first thing I do is to ascertain that I have my data here um, labeled correctly in the, in the Excel spreadsheet, such that the titles are reading latitude, longitude, or lat long because the software will automatically select them or pick on them without having to ask me to do it manually. Okay, um, so the next thing I do is to open ArcMap um, and I open it with a new fresh window without any data in it and then I will add data in, in it. Most importantly is to add data that has a coordinate system or data that you're sure you're going to use as a base map to ascertain whether your data is in the, co in the correct location. Otherwise, you will not be uh, sure of anything once you plot your data. You might think it's in the correct place, but when it is totally in the wrong place. So I'll go and add data, uh, starting with my base map. And that base map of mine is somewhere in this folder. Um, let me work within one geodatabase um, in which I want to store all my data for this uh, process. So I will load a map for, of Uganda showing administrative boundaries and once that map is loaded it's going to, to act as a base map for my uh, mapping session uh, tonight. So here we are. Um, with our map of Uganda. It's just a map and I would like to see which coordinate system it is uh, using or it, uh, it was stored with. So I go to the properties and I have to check and as you can see it has uh, it is stored uh, with a projected coordinate system of Clark 1880 UTM zone 36 and um, um, a geographic coordinate system of Clark also 1880. Well, this is the coordinate system information for the, the data layer that I have just loaded. And the purpose for us to ascertain this, to check this, is to know uh, to which coordinate system our data is going to be uh, projected on the fly later on because the first layer you add into the data frame of um, ArcMap defines the, uh, the coordinate system for the, uh, the for the data frame and all the subsequent layers that you're going to add will be automatically projected on the fly uh, using the coordinate system for the first layer we've added here. So the next thing I'm going to do after ascertaining that this is in uh, Clark 1880 uh, UTM zone 36 uh, as the projected coordinate system and the geographic coordinate system is Clark 1880. Um, I will now go ahead and add my table because it's the table that contains all the information I would like to plot onto this map and start working with it uh, more. So I will go and add uh, my table and um, the table I would like to add is stored um, is stored here in GIS data and it is stored in decimal degrees. So I will add this table here which is an Excel spreadsheet into ArcMap. Um, it is bringing this because each spreadsheet by default has three sheets 
that by default all data is stored in sheet 1 unless you choose to store it in sheet 2 to uh, automatically be stored in sheet 1 so I know uh, my data is there so I add it and then here we are we have our table and if you notice it will switch from the list by drawing order uh, automatically onto list by source to show you the geodatabase or the source uh, where this data is stored. Um, so, what do I do next? We have our table right here in the table of contents. We have to right click this table and open it to verify that it's the correct table we, we want to work with. And as you can see, this is the correct table. Close it and go back to the table of contents right click it and then scroll down to display XY coordinates now when you display XY coordinates after clicking it the display XY data uh, dialog box will show and when it shows it has automatically picked on the longitude and latitude fields as labeled because uh, that's how it works if you don't label it, then you will have to show it where, uh, to show the, the software uh, where the X and Y or last year long longitude fields are. So automatically, it has also picked the coordinate system of the layer we first added. But by default, because this data came from the field and I entered it manually into the Excel spreadsheet, it doesn't have any coordinate system. So many times, what you have to see, what you should be seeing is. Uh, information telling you that this uh, table has an unknown coordinate system and then you proceed and um, click OK you get uh, a warning message informing you that this uh, table doesn't have an object ID and one will be created and then you have to say yes to have one created for you and as you can see our points have been plotted using a temporary uh, event theme this event theme is not permanent it's temporal so you have to uh, make it permanent by exporting the data and storing it somewhere and in this case it would be nice to store it in the database uh, where all your data is saved so that you have one workspace so what I will do now is to um, export hours. this event theme first because already you can see it is falling outside because I expect um, this data to plot somewhere around here in Bududa district but the fact that it is plotting outside Uganda shows that indeed it doesn't have a coordinate system and something has to be done about it so I will export this data and first make it permanent and then be able to um, give it or assign it a coordinate system and have it locate in the right place so I'm saving it in my geodatabase for the demos I'll give it a name as output2 and then save it and click OK remember I'm exporting all features I don't want anything to be left out I click OK and then it will ask me if I want to add it as a layer and I'll click yes so um, the event theme has been made permanent and has been added um, to ArcMap as um, a feature class as a feature class uh, of points so I can now delete or remove the table um, which was added and then have only Two feature classes, all of them uh, appearing in the same database. Now, I have to make sure these points plot here. Hmm. They are here right now. If I can zoom uh, into this area, you will see that I have all the points appearing as one point before, but these are all the points I collected and I want them to plot 
in the right place. So what I do now is to uh, go to Arc Toolbox, and when I go to Arc Toolbox, When I go to Arc Toolbox, I'll go to Data Management Tools, and then Projections and Transformation. Projections and Transformations, and then Define Projection. There's a difference between Define Projection and the Project Tool. This is usually a source of confusion. If you use the Define Projection uh, tool, you are assigning either a new coordinate system to data that has no coordinates, uh, the coordinate system, or data that has a wrong coordinate system and you want to correct the coordinate system. But if you use the project tool, you are intending to transform the data, including the geometry. Here you do not affect the geometry, just the coordinate system, but here you will also change the geometry of the data. So you must always watch out. So I'm going to um, define a projection for my data at the moment it is unknown so I, I want it to to be in WGS 1984 because I will I'll be working with WGS 1984 for uh, for all my data uh, so starting now I set it at WGS 1984 continue and say yes and then it will assign that coordinate system to the data we shall wait for the process to complete um, we look at this status bar and um, the process will be running here as you can see define projection uh, once it is completed it will bring a message uh, that the process has completed and at that point we expect our points to have moved to the right place would be so after assigning a coordinate system to this data the points have gone into the right location where they should plot so after this I have my output right there I have assigned it a coordinate system I have a feature class instead of a table with attributes I can now go ahead and add more fields you know uh, to, to add or to build on to the attribute information that is here and automatically the system adds an object ID for me to make this table workable with the GIS or to make the, the system to understand um, uh, that this is uh, spatial data or this is a spatial table uh, spatial attribute table okay so um, what happened here I know you might be wondering why, even after uh, assigning this feature class uh, a geographic content system of WGS uh, 1984, it is still plotting very well and aligning with the data that I initially added, which has a coordinate system of Clark um, 1880 UTM zone 36 projection and the geographic coordinate system of GCS uh, Clark 1880. Uh, the explanation is simple. Projection on the fly. Once you add the first layer into the data frame, any other layer you're going to load into this data frame will be projected automatically or, or projected on the fly to match or to align with the data that was added first, regardless of the coordinate system differences so here that is what happens and that's why you have um, this information you know aligning even when it is in two different coordinate systems okay so for today I think that's what I wanted to show you uh, and remember that when you're going to plot your points you use ArcMap have your data in one place and that's a geodatabase in this case I was using a file geodatabase and also try uh, and understand the concept of coordinates and the concept of projection on the fly
Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.